embarrass the shop board in a department store. He comes up with an idea for a high-end place that doesn't make you feel like a pervert. He gets a $40,000 bank loan, borrows another $40,000 from his in-laws, opens a store and calls it Victoria's Secret. He makes a half million dollars his first year. He starts a catalog, opens three more stores, and after five years, he sells the company to Leslie Wexner and The Limited for $4 million. Happy ending, right? Except two years later, the company's worth $500 million, and Roy Raymond jumps off the Golden Gate Bridge. Poor guy just wanted to buy his wife a pair of thigh highs, you know? Was that a parable? My date's a Victoria's Secret model. That's why she looks familiar to you. God, don't be impressed by all this. I read your blog. Oh, oh, you know, no, that was for web creeps. You know why I started Napster? The girl I loved in high school was with the co-captain of the varsity lacrosse team, and I wanted to take her from him. So I decided to come up with the next big thing. I didn't know that. Napster wasn't a failure. I changed the music industry for better and for always. It may not have been good business, but it pissed a lot of people off. And isn't that what your face mash was about? They're scared of me, pal, and they're gonna be scared of you. What the VCs wanted to say, good idea, kid. Grown-ups will take it from here. But not this time. This is our time. This time, you're gonna, you're gonna hand them a business card that says, I'm CEO, bitch. That's what I want for you. So where the hell is Eduardo? He's in New York. Sucking up to ad exec. He's got an, an internship. Company's here. A billion dollar company's here. Do you live and breathe Facebook? Yes. I know you do. Eduardo wants to be a businessman, and for all I know, he's going to be a good one, but he shouldn't be in New York kissing Madison Avenue's ass. This is a once-in-a-generation holy shit idea. And the water under the Golden Gate is freezing cold. Look at my face. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you ever think about that girl? What girl? The, the girl from high school who was with the lacrosse thing. No. You guys are going to talk about that with we need shot. Hundred schools by the end of the summer? Yep. I'll tell you what, just for good faith, while you're getting into our hundred schools, I'll put you on two continents. Two continents. If you don't have a place to crash, I think you should definitely come and live with us. Let's line up some shots. Excuse me! <laughs> Absolutely, Mr. Parker.